Hi everyone, Dr. Glassmoyer here. Today's topic is how to handle it when you recognize that your narcissistic ex has moved on. He's gotten his new supply. For a lot of women, this is a painful time because unlike him, who desperately goes out and seeks someone to put in that spot, because for him, women are interchangeable parts. Anybody will fit in that place. He tried to make you believe that it was you. He tried to make you believe that he loved you and that you were the woman of his dreams. Well, he's convincing this new woman of the same thing. He's watching her, he's listening, he's learning what it is that she's about what it is that she needs and wants to hear from him in order to drop her defenses to miss the red flags and to get into that relationship with him for most women there's a part of us in our pain that wants to believe that somehow he has become um, the victor in all of this that here you are Maybe, maybe you have children and maybe you're going back to work for the first time, or maybe you don't, but you have moved out, made changes. You're trying to pull your life together. Likely, you recognize the need to heal before you jump into another relationship. So here you are doing exactly what you should be doing, the healthy thing. And then somebody tells you, or you see him with someone else. And this place in you begins to lie and tell you, oh my gosh, after all the pain he inflicted, after all of the hurt, that he is somehow victorious, that this relationship with this new woman is somehow going to be better than the relationship was with you. Let me reassure you, ladies, it's not going to be any different. And the relationship that he's in right now is going to go through those same predictable phases. The baiting and wooing phase where he lures her in just like he lured you in. Then as she starts to show up as the real woman that she is, <laughs> rather than the idealized woman that he wants her to be, that forcing phase, trying to force her to be that idealized woman. And this is where the devaluation happens. You remember it, pretty painful stuff. The projection, the diversion, the gaslighting, all of it, all of the painful stuff that you endured for how long? For many women, it was a long, long time because just about the time you get your wits about you and realize how bad it actually was. <laughs> He'd come back with that sneaky little game of pretend, acting like it didn't happen. That horrible thing that you remember from the night before, the things he said to you, didn't happen. All right, so you remember the pain. I want you to know his current relationship will go through those same phases and eventually, she will be discarded emotionally in the same way that you were. And when I say that, it doesn't matter if you left him, he left you. The discarding is a process of devaluation to the point where you, you know he is treating you now as though you have no value at all. So the woman who enters the relationship with a person with pathological narcissism in his personality, the person who enters this relationship after you, when those feelings come up, and there, are, it's normal for there to be lots of them. You might feel anger, you might feel sadness, you might feel loneliness, you might feel even a little bit of jealousy. Step back. Feel the feelings, process the feelings, 
but make space for your logical brain to come in. Take a look at what you've learned about the narcissist. It wasn't ever about you. It was about him. And just like it wasn't about you, it's not about her either. It's still about him. It will always be about him. A very wise friend of mine characterized this whole process by saying, imagine this. Imagine the car guy who's got a garage full of parts. The wife, the girlfriend, is nothing more than one of those parts. Just an interchangeable part. So just as he may use and discard a car part, he does the same thing with his girlfriends, wives. So whether past, present, or future, the women in his life are nothing more than interchangeable parts that he gets all excited about in the beginning. He has fantasies of how this part is gonna make the car so amazing. He uses the part up and it's just not good enough anymore. He's gotta get a new one. He's gotta make this engine even faster. So when you think about the person that he's with right now, I encourage you to think of her not as someone that your ex is with, but as another woman. Let the compassion come up in you just like it was if he was with a dear friend of yours or if your daughter was dating someone with similar personality characteristics. If your daughter was dating an emotionally abusive guy. Think of this ex or this new person who's with your ex in that way because she's going through the same thing that you went through and it's not going to end any different it's not going to end any better and soon she will be that interchangeable part that gets tossed out in the same way that you did so to the many of you who have asked me the questions about this and asked me to do a video on this this is for you and it is for every single woman out there who has been in a relationship with a narcissistic guy and has looked back, tears in her eyes, to see him driving down the street with the new woman in the car next to him or whatever. And thinking for a minute, wow, he's just moved on with his life. Well, guess what? He moves on with his life with who he is, the loneliness that drives him to do the things that he does. It might look like he's happy on the outside. Trust me, he's not. You take you with you. And when you heal and you move on, your life will be full and rich and joyful. And when you allow yourself to heal from the pain of this relationship, then you make space for real love to enter your life. So again, to all of you who asked this question, who asked me to do a video on this topic, this is for you. And to those women like you and I, who just now are going through what we did, who just now are entering relationships with emotionally abusive, abusive, narcissistic men, my heart goes out to them. And so whether one of them is with your ex or not, let your heart go out to her too, because men like this are going through life hurting one woman after another. And I don't know about you, but I have a passion to get the word out there to help our daughters, our sisters, our friends, sometimes our mothers, to help other women learn to recognize the red flags so that they can avoid getting into these relationships. And if they are in one, that they can break free and fully, fully recover. So again, thank you, each and every one of you. 
Thank you for the comments. Thank you for watching the videos and learning and spreading the word.